Hello everyone. Welcome to this lecture of ANSYS tutorial. So basically we have done a one problem on the ANSYS and this is the second one. So in this problem we will have a uh, hollow cylinder 2 meter long uh, has an outside diameter of 50 mm and inside diameter of 30 mm. It is subjected to a tensile load of 25 kN. Determine the stress and elongation of the cylinder. If Young's modulus E is equal to 100 GPA and uh, so this is the drawing and these are the theoretical results. So let's start in ANSYS. So I got ANSYS workbench 14.0. So I have done the first problem. Now this is the second problem. So directly drag it to it here and make the name problem 2 if you have not gone to the problem 1 please go to it so it will be beneficial for this problem also so here uh, we have given e is equal to 100 gpa and as you know uh, ANSYS have a static structure as default material which have Young's modulus of 2 into 10 to the power 11 pascal which is 200 gpa so we will duplicate it uh, as nothing is given, we will consider this as also a st uh, steel with G uh, 100 GPA. So we have uh, duplicate the steel, but we have to change the Young's modulus. So here we will change it to the 100 GPA, and now we will use this as the material for our geometry. So return to the project, go to the geometry. Here we will select the millimeter, then XY plane, make it normal, go to the sketching, make two concentric circles, one and two, give the dimensions. So inner one is 30 mm and outer one is 50 mm. Now extrude this object we will select the sketch from here and apply so he, you will see the extruded part but it is not extruded we have to give the length which is 2 meter long so here depth is 2000 mm and then generate so you can see one solid part is formed which is a hollow hollow road circular cross section ok <clears throat> so close this window now go to the model section and it will attach the file from the design modeler to the mechanical software here we got the our object but the material we have not assigned yet so for the material we will go to geometry and in geometry we got the solid here material is given so assignment is structure steel which has the GPA of 200 gigapascal uh, 200 gigapascal so we will make to the structure steel 2 which we have the Young's modulus which we have already defined 100 gigapascal now it is ok then go to the meshing here we will make the relevance 100 and uh, relevance center to the fine as it is very uh, simple geometry and small geometry so update it now we can see the nodes and element in the static part uh, static parts and uh, now we will apply the boundary condition in the static structure we will first uh, fix this face, fix support, we will fix this face, apply, we will make it is into isometric view, then on this face we will apply the load, force is here and face is selected, it is defined by component and make it into the isometric, so it is a z axis, so in z 25 
thousand newton okay so static structure by clicking on this you can see all the boundary conditions a point is fixed a face is fixed and b face has a low force of 25000 uh, newton now we want to see the elongation and stress so for elongation we go to directional elongation in z axis and uh, for stress we go to normal stress orientation is z axis then solve it so we got the solution directional deformation is uh, 0 to 0.39 so maximum deformation of this lower uh, rod is 0.39 and our answer is 0.4 so it is approximately equal to the 0.4 mm okay and uh, normal stress or uh, you can see this green color is the solution so to see this green color we will using probe and click on it so our normal stress is 19.891 uh, mega pascal and by hook's law we are getting 19.9 mega pascal so it is the almost same so you can see we have uh, done the question simple questions on ANSYS workbench and also uh, verify from the result from the hook's law using hook's law thank you for watching have a great day